Someone said that we're taking a big risk ourselves to tell the truth. But I think um, knowing our Father and the Messiah, we're taking a bigger risk if we don't tell the truth. Whoa. Hmm. How, how do we, you know, like I said, where where do we begin? I think we're going to begin where the Bible began also to speak about this. JFK. John F. Kennedy, President Eisenhower, his um, military industrial complex speech. One should remember about Eisenhower is that there's a newspaper article that was uh, published concerning Eisenhower, and it was published in the Cleveland Call. In the Cleveland Post, Cleveland Call and Post, in June 1954, and this article states that Ike, educated by Selassie, during visit, and we're reading this from a book published by uh, Rasta Rastafarian brother, who we pray for, because you know, he's had his own challenges and problems. This book was autographed to us um, by uh, Ross Nathaniel, 74th Coronation Anniversary. The book is called the 50th Anniversary of His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie the First Visit to the United States. Um, 1954 to 2004 has various newspaper articles in it to back up, you know, to back up the findings in this particular report. Um, I want to share this with you. There's a couple of interesting newspaper articles that hopefully you can still find in uh, in general circulation. Um, the one where Ike is educated by Selassie during visit Washington D.C. says President Eisenhower told his press conference Wednesday that he received from Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia, a very elementary education before he should have had before, which he should have had before. Excuse us for some of the, the outside sounds. Once again, Ike is educated by Selassie during visit, Washington, D.C. It says, President Eisenhower told his press conference Wednesday that he received from Haile Selassie, the first emperor of Ethiopia, a very elementary education which he should have had before. Mr. Eisenhower told his, made his statements when he was asked if he cared to comment upon the emperor's visit. He would say this, not only did he have a very interesting visit with the emperor, but a very enlightening one, Mr. Eisenhower replied. Among other things, he said, the emperor brought along an industrial map of Ethiopia, showing the industries of various sections and also brought him a few products of his country. He described the emperor as a charming individual and said the people with him were interesting and knew their business. He is certain that in Ethiopia, Mr. Eisenhower declared, there is a deep underlying appreciation of America's efforts and affection for the people. Now, I share that with you because you need to overstand that when you listen to President Eisenhower's farewell address in January of 1961 where he warns about the military industrial complex and what's interesting is that it would take almost 40 years for that particular speech and closing and warning address of President Eisenhower to really catch on with people. You understand? 
especially those who they call the conspiracy buffs or conspiracy theorists, really the conspiracy realists. You understand who many of them have cited that particular speech of President Eisenhower as a clear warning from not someone who is who had an aversion to war in the sense of someone who did not know anything about war, but a decorated war hero who became president of the United States. It, it is very, very interesting because once again in the Chicago Defender of June 1954, we have this very same basic article or the same content of the article, Selassie educates Ike during Washington tour, Washington, D.C., the NNPA. President Eisenhower told his press conference Wednesday that he received from Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia, a very elementary education, which he should have had before. This is, some people say it's deep, you understand? Yet it is something that many people have failed to put together because so much propaganda has been circulated, you understand, against the Emperor of Ethiopia, the King of Kings of Ethiopia, and history has virtually been rewritten. So most of the history that people get, you understand, about many of the events that have happened over uh, not just the last, um, you know, 40 years, but the last 400 years have been so carefully and cunningly rewritten that most people don't even really know you understand that it's been rewritten and they're getting a rewritten version of history as Napoleon Bonaparte said that history is written by the winners you know history is written by the winners so we want to touch on a couple of key events and ask you all who do your research to investigate these matters for yourself before you just jump up and, you know, join one side or the next side or say it's all false, Haile Selassie, a murderer, autocrat, wicked autocrat, or, oh, this garbage. This is pure garbage. You understand? There's no facts to it. He robbed his country. No facts. All even over the years. He starved his people. All that has been disproven over the years. This is why they don't bring up these things. Only some fools, basically, who haven't gotten the update, who didn't see the retraction written on you know at the end of the at the end of the newspaper you know concerning these matters we want to touch on president kennedy jfk because a lot has been made over the years about the you know the conspiracy this conspiracy theory um of kennedy yeah, there's a documentary i think alex jones has something to do with this documentary about jfk and the the bush connection that shows you know the the Bush and family and a Nazi family connection and and the different ones who are part of the Kennedy entourage. How even Kennedy, you know, had a premonition of his being assassinated. Um, there's the rumor that uh, President Kennedy said to our father, the King of Kings of Ethiopia, that he looked forward to um, meeting with him again when he visit the country. When he should visit the country again and. His Imperial Majesty was alleged to have said, and we say alleged because this is something that has been told to us and we've heard from different sources, but haven't seen it like in any book or so-called fact-checked, but it's something that has been alleged to have been said and reported in some sort of publication. That His Imperial Majesty was to say to President Kennedy that the next time that he comes forward, he'll be coming forward to his funeral. And whether President Kennedy realized exactly, you understand, what that meant at the time, true enough, his Imperial Majesty's next return to the United States of America would be at the funeral procession of John F. Kennedy, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. And it's very interesting as you put the, you know, the, the pieces of the story, the pieces of the puzzle together and everything. Kennedy's speech, Kennedy made a speech. They say it's the speech that um, killed him, that got him killed. JFK revealed the Skull and Bones Society, um, the New World Order. You understand when he spoke about the, 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 the secret societies and that, you know, do everything in one's power to oppose the secret societies who are about this New World Order, this evil plan. 
You understand? And Kennedy was to speak on this and he spoke out publicly. He addressed the nation and the world about this. And about 50 days after the visit of his Imperial Majesty, he would be dead. He would be shot to death. You understand? First was the lone gunman theory. You understand? Now they found out that was probably a trifecta, probably involved the three um, great Illuminati branches, the dirty frogs that's talked about in Revelation, um, namely, um, someone said that we're taking a big risk ourselves to tell the truth, but I think um, knowing our Father and the Messiah, we're taking a bigger risk if we don't tell the truth.